All right, so where we left off is we were looking at imbalance in trees, okay? And we were looking at a situation, for example, if we had a tree and we started with the number four, and then we added a six, that's okay, and then we added an eight. So six is bigger than four, so it goes to the right-hand side. Eight is bigger than four, so it goes to the right-hand side. Eight is bigger than six, so it goes to the right-hand side. Okay? And so now we have an imbalance in our tree. And we need to do something to correct that imbalance. And what we need to do is we need to rotate the four around the six. Okay? And so that's called a left rotation. And I want to point out that the tree was quite happy when it was just the four. The tree was quite happy when it was the six. But when we added the eight, the eight is the node that caused the imbalance. So when we added the eight, we got an imbalance. And we do the rotation on the grandparent, okay? It's the grandparent of the node that, we have, that causes the imbalance that we have to fix. So we do a left rotation of the four around the six, and we end up with a balanced tree, four, six, and eight. That's a left rotation. In contrast, in contrast, if we have the situation um, where we have the eight, the six, and, the f and then the four, again, the eight and the six are quite happy. The node that caused the imbalance is the four, and the node that has to pay is the grandparent. Okay. And in this case, we do a right rotation of the eight. Okay. And we end up again with our balanced tree looking like this. Now in both these cases, in both these cases, what we're looking at is where the median value is. So here's the median value, and here's the median value. And after we've done the rotation, we want to end up with the median in the middle. Okay, the median in the middle. So what happens if instead of having this situation, we have, for example, we have it start with a four, And then we add an 8. 8 is bigger than 4, so it becomes 4's right child. And then after adding the 8, we add the 6. 6 is bigger than 4, so it has to be on 4's right-hand side. And 6 is less than 8, so it has to be down here. Okay. So now we have an imbalance. And I'll talk about how we measure imbalance in just a minute. But now we have an imbalance. So how can we correct this imbalance? Can we do a left rotation, or can we do a right rotation? So no single rotation will fix this. If we do a left rotation, it won't fix it. If we do a right rotation, it won't fix it. What we actually need is a combination of two rotations. The first rotation is to take the median value, the 6, and put it in the middle. And so what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to do a right rotation. And what we want to end up with is the 6 in the middle between the 4 and the 8. So we want to end up with this situation. So we're going to do a right rotation of the 8 around the 6. Okay. Once we're in this situation, this is one we've already seen. We know how to fix that. We can do a left rotation. And so here we do a left rotation of the four. And so 
In this case, the node that caused the imbalance is the 6. And this time, both the grandparent and the parent have to pay for that imbalance. So first of all, we do a right rotation of the 8 around the 6. That's the parent. So our first rotation, our right rotation, is of the parent. And our second rotation, the left rotation, is the grandparent, OK? Similarly, if we have an 8, a 4, and a 6, we're in the same situation. No single rotation can fix this. The first thing we need to do is we need to move the median value, which is the 6. And so in this case, we're going to do a left rotation of the 4 around the 6. So again, it's a left rotation of the parent, which is the 4. And that ends up with the 8, the 6, and the 4. We've seen how to fix that. That's a right rotation. And so we do a right rotation of the grandparent. And that's the 8. And then we end up with our balanced version of our tree. Okay. So notice that when we look at the grandparent, the imbalance here is in the right child's right subtree. So right child, right subtree. And we do a left rotation. When we look at the grandparent, here the imbalance is in the left child's left subtree. And we do a right rotation. When we look at the, the, the grandparent, here the imbalance is in the right child's left subtree. The right child's left subtree. And we do a right left rotation. And here the imbalance is in the left child's right subtree. And we do a left, right rotation. Okay. So identifying where the imbalance occurs, identifying which node caused the problem, and then looking at its grandparent and saying, where does the imbalance occur, tells you how to fix that particular imbalance.